welcome to the Jacobs Levy Equity Management Center for Quantitative Finance Financial uh, Research Spring Forum. My name is Chris Gatesy. Uh, I'm the academic director for the center, and it's my pleasure to host today's event. The center's mission is to leverage the research strengths of the Wharton School to increase uh, understanding, or as we might say, move the needle over the theoretical and practical aspects of quantitative finance. Today's presenters have made strong contribution to this field through their research and through their practice, and we look forward to learning not only from them, but from each of you throughout our conversations today. Under Chris's leadership, the Jacobs Levy Center continues to thrive and fulfill its mission of advancing innovation in quantitative finance and fostering the application of quantitative methods and techniques. Our speakers will explore a variety of questions about factors. Which ones matter? How many are there? Why do they work? How to exploit them? Will they become crowded trades? Will they last? In 2014, the Jacobs Levy Center established the Research Paper Prizes recognize outstanding scholarship in quantitative financial research. Winners are chosen from recent submissions to the Center's Working Paper series. And now we would like to invite all the prize recipients to, who are here to join us on the podium to accept your awards. Congratulations. I'd like to thank the organizers for having us. It's a real honor to be part of this incredible program. Part of what I'll do today is to talk about things that are closely related to factor investing, uh, but a lot of what I'm going to be doing is trying to tie what we're doing in a factor sense to what we care about in a macroeconomic sense. Uh, so there's going to be a, an important link here uh, with some of the deeper economic motivations for where these risk premiums come from. My paper is basically about trying to separate factors that are just found by luck and factors that might actually be real. I'll propose a method to actually do that. It quite clearly, right, wrong, or indifferent, affects the investment management world. There are lots of small cap funds and allocations to small cap that are driven by this. So it, 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 it behooves us to look at it. It's an inherently interesting topic to our field. Uh, gentlemen, I'd like to start by asking each of you to describe, uh, first in general and then specific terms, for our audience, the context in which you work and how the idea of factor-based investing uh, is uh, incorporated. We try to think about coming up with unique definitions for more, more fundamentally driven or, or might, given some of the previous discussion, think about rationally explained uh, factors. So we have looked at the four or five factors. Some of them are the, we discussed uh, value, quality, low wall, uh, uh, and then small cap momentum. And some of them we have implemented also. How do we solve the problems that asset allocators are thinking about? And, and among other things, that led to us exploring the opportunity to figure out whether we could deliver or at least help deliver risk factor exposures and, and measure it. Uh, and that gets to the other angle at which we, we kind of look at it, which is what risks exist in a risk factor? And are those the types of risks that, from an asset allocator's perspective, can offer a long-term premium? So what you'll see in my presentation today are two things. One is the empirical part, which goes back and looks at data from a simplified perspective. I call it a higher level of abstraction and the typical factor investing. And then the second part is actually uh, somewhat more proactive. As a portfolio manager, I need to step, I have to step, I'm required to step a step beyond the you know, academic paper uh, reporting, et cetera, and say, you know, what am I gonna do in a, this new environment with negative yields and, and uh, the government in the, in the mix. And it's become obviously very popular, factor investing is very popular today, but uh, I think we ought to step back and make sure that we understand what the driving uh, features are. Buying pressure on a few well-known factors can certainly bid up the prices of those factors. And at some point, that can lead to weak performance, and it might even lead to factor crashes. For us, smart data is more a business innovation than it's a um, investment innovation. Uh, so what smart beta does is these are transparent, rules-based uh, strategies uh, which uh, bring to the investors, uh, which allow investors to benefit from uh, known robust factors. And um, I agree to a large extent that uh, there are not 300 factors out there 
uh, and uh, Bruce's work is actually in the 80s, which actually proceed, does proceed from a French, uh, he is very important in, in that sense. What hopefully is happening is, is this analysis and all the work and research that all of you are doing is going to lead to us better understanding why some portfolios do better than others.